Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corner. Today we're going to be doing a different video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I take the tip powder of my nails at home. I've been doing my nails for quite about two months and ever since I posted them in my Instagram, I've been, I've been having a lot of requests and a lot of questions. So I wanted to do a video on how I take them off at home and maybe um, I do do a video on how I do my own nails at home as well. I also wanted to show you, these are week three. This is how my nails look. When my nails get like this, I decide to take them off and redo them because my hair can get stuck and it's really, really painful, not only for the nails, but also for my scalp. So this is my last design. I learned how to do an ombre. But today we're going to take these nails off. So let's get to work. So to protect my table, I use this tablecloth. It's from Walmart, costs about two dollars. Then I have one of these um, table mat. They are from the dollar store. This one is from CVS and this one is the Walmart brand, which obviously this is cheaper and they both white 100% acetone. Normally I'll do with this one, but today I want to try a little different one. Then you're going to need um, aluminum foil. These, they're already pre-cut. I got this pack of 500. I actually got it for something else, but I ended up using it to do my nails. You can get the cheaper one at Walmart, but I like this one because they're already pre-cut. Like I said, I did not buy these to do my nails. I bought them for something else. You are also going to need some cotton balls to suck up on this acetone, a buffer or a nail file. This I got off of CVS. So that's all that we're going to need. So now let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my left hands first because the right hand is a little tricky. So first thing you wanna do is remove that top coat that you put on the nails. You can use your nail file, you can use a buffer, or you can use the machine if you have it. I'm going to remove all the powder that came off. And this is how my nails look now. As you can see, the, all the shine is gone. I gotta be honest with you guys, doing it with the file takes me way longer than what it does with the machine. Now I'm gonna show you how I do my left side with the machine so you can see with the machine is super, super quick versus using the nail file. Now you do not need the machine to do this you can use a nail file but i personally find it faster using the machine so let me get the machine started and so this is the machine that i use it's called baby nail i got it off of amazon for about anywhere between 17 and 21 dollars um it has worked very very good it comes with all this i know i'm going to use the file to remove it comes with all these little gadgets I normally use this one, as you can see, to remove that top coat. This is how the machine looks. That goes right here. Inside the machine, you're gonna find the wall adapter. You're gonna find some more gadgets. You're gonna find extra nail filers. Before I forget, and before I connect it, the machine has the middles off, it um, rotates to one side, I believe it's towards the left, and to the back, rotates towards the right. You can adjust how fast or how slow you want the machine to go, and yeah, it's pretty convenient for the price. Now this is how it works. 
don't know if you can pick up the camera. It's going pretty fast. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. And I'm just going to remove the top coat. it top coats are fully removed by the way these kind of little brushes you can find off of amazon as well i've seen a lot of people using makeup brushes but i personally don't like to use makeup brushes my makeup brushes are my makeup brushes now let's start into dipping the cotton balls into the acetone okay, so before soaking up our cotton balls i like to cut the paper that would just make everything a little bit much easier for me I like to get two for the bigger nails and then on three for the smaller nails. And there you have it. Now the cotton balls, I like to part them in half. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak up the cotton ball. And I'm going to apply that on top of my nail and wrap it around the aluminum foil. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to do this with the rest of my nails. Okay, so here they are. And I'm going to leave this hand um, with this Walmart brand anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. And then I'm going to check and see how um, the process is going. So, okay, so it has been like 15 minutes now. Let me check on the nail. One thing that you wanna do once you open is rub the cotton onto the nail. And as you can see, it'll come right off. Here is nail number one. I like to rub that way. It's super, super easy to come off. So, like I said, nail number one. Now let's go on to nail number two. There it is, nail number two. On to nail number three. Nail number three. Nail number four. And last but not least, Last but not least, nail number five. So this is how it looks so far. One and two. Now I'm going to take this hand off camera and I'm gonna come back to show you the final results. Okay, so this is how my, hair, my nails are looking so far. Everything, pretty much everything um, came off. Just to make sure you uh, moisturize your hands because they're going to be a little dry especially this area where the acetone kind of touch your skin um now i gotta be honest with you i did like this acetone which is the walmart brand way more than i like the cvs i feel like this um made the um deep powder come out faster and my fingers didn't felt as dry as you can see my nails are not white like you normally happen with this one but 
this is it this is how my nail look now i'm gonna go ahead and redo them of course you guys want to see the video please just let me know in the comment down below but as you can see it's super easy to remove the deep powder at home and it's nothing to be scared of it's super simple step you just need um to let the acetone 100 acetone do it is magic um and this is it this is all i wanted to show you guys don't forget if you like the video give the video a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you like what you see and you would like to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button let me know in the comment down below what you guys think about this super easy step and if you guys are um doing your nails in any type of way at home um and nothing with this being said it will be on to the next one bye